Well, folks, as we leave our 1870 depot, if you'll look directly off the east side of the train, you'll be looking out that large gap in the Washoe Mountains that they named the Six Mile Canyon. Now, that was named Six Mile Canyon for a very specific reason, because it's a canyon and it's six miles long. Nothing else I can think of. But that large mountain you see standing up right in the center of the canyon was named over 160 years ago by the immigrants and pioneers. They named that mountain Sugarloaf. And after crossing the great 40-mile desert and coming up through Carson Plains, the easiest way to get to Virginia City was to come through Six Mile Canyon. Once they saw a Sugarloaf Mountain, they knew they were near their destination and hopefully a better life. Now across the narrow canyon next to us, a little bit through the rear of the train, atop that huge pile of tailings, you will see the remains of the combination shaft. The combination shaft at one time was the deepest mine in the world. Still, to this day, that shaft goes straight down 3,265 feet in the rear, about two-thirds of a mile. The combination shaft is a joint mining effort between four mining companies on the town side road. In their wisdom, they thought a main vein of ore existed directly under that spot. And if they sunk that mine shaft there, they would surely all become very rich. But folks, there was a problem. There was no main vein of ore. That shaft only brought some very low ore. It was eventually declared a $7 million financial disaster.
production process. As the train does go to the stop here, we'll send a little interesting off the east side. If you head right back into the ground, you'll see the main head right in the other side of the Ryan complex. Notice those huge wooden timbers were plastered with concrete. And that was not in an effort to prevent that head train from burning in the event of a fire. But if anyone has any questions at all about the Virginia and Truckee Railroad, the Comstock Road, or any of my next lives, please folks do feel free to ask and I will do the best I can to answer any questions for you. I do hope you're enjoying your trip with me this morning. Folks, if I can get you to take your seats one moment, I've just given uh, the engineer the highball. I don't want him to knock anybody down. Now, as we pull forward, I'd like you to take a look off the left side of the track. I noticed that little block of dirt sticking out toward the tracks just past the head frame of the North Yellow Jacket Shack. Once we pass that little block, there's a narrow canyon on the left side, as you can see. The reason I want you to see that canyon is because it was a block of that canyon where all of this began. That's the actual